Americans started working differently two years ago. It hasn't been temporary and it's continuing to evolve. And Fox 5i team's Dana Fowles says the four day work week might be the new way forward. Dana, good morning. We've talked about this so long. Is it really a possibility? You know, business owners have batted this around, I don't know, for decades really, heating up in the last few years and now it's become practice in some areas. Four day work global. It's an international initiative that includes the United States. It's a pilot program that just got rolling and it runs to the end of the year and there are participating companies and they're running on these four day work weeks and then they're going to report back how it's going. They're going to measure the businesses want to know about worker productivity. They also do want to know about your work life balance and then the employee engagement in the nonprofit group. Early work shows that a four day work week made it easier for bosses to hire and retain workers and 78% of employees were happier, said they felt less stress. But what do real people like you think? These two ladies see the pros and the cons. They've worked their whole lives and they see the value of four longer days and three off. If you can get your work done in four days and all Friday, and that gives you time to do your uh, personal business because when you work in full time, five days a week, and, and uh, it's hard to get off to do your personal business. Well, if you got 10 hour days, some people, they, they can't function for 10 full hours. And then it's hard for some people that don't have that mentality to work. 10 full hours a day, 40 for 40 hours. If the four days work, the four day will work, the pay has to be right. You know, the pay, even the time, you add on the time, but the pay has to be right too. What will work with, it will be good for some people, maybe bad for some others, but most likely they're good for um, people that needed the time, especially those that have young children. You know, she also made another point where she said um, 10 hours might not be great for every single person. That's a long time, but those are all valid points. But we also ran into a man in the tech field who told us his office has been doing four day work weeks all year. It started as a one month trial and they're still at it. So what I've seen is that the work that our employees have done so far are equivalent to a five day work week. They just make sure that everything on that last day is taken care of so that upper management can handle anything that comes in during that time. And his friend, the teacher there, said she'd be down for that too. <laughs> so it would work differently for each office in each industry. And in some jobs, you know, not everybody can take Friday off. I mean, then when you got the day off, then there's nothing open. But for some industries, that might work better. But it's an international initiative, and so we're going to see how it goes. I mean, if you really think about it, Dana, work days have changed over the centuries a lot. I, yeah, I mean, there was a time when we worked seven days a week outside hard labor. Then it became six days. Five days has been, of course, the norm for a really long time. But the pandemic showed us that employees, number one, have changed how they work. And two, people want work life balance and they're now demanding it and they can the same way the baby boomers drove the economy and the world they're not the the largest group now the millennials are they are all in the workforce they're buying homes they are the ones who want work-life balance and they drive the economy yeah and like the boomers they'll probably get what they want i mean gotta have people to work right yeah gotta keep those employees happy nobody ever asked gen x what they wanted <laughs> i'm just saying sometimes nobody we even get left out Oh, gosh. Okay, I have a feeling on this that, that Gen X could be with the Millennials and Gen Z. Yeah, I, we'll, don't I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> right. Nobody has, ever asked us anything. That's so funny, and you're right. <laughs> There's never a story about, like, no. Gen and, X's. And, this, and a lot of times they leave us out of all yes. the categories. And I'm like, the latchkey kids who showed up and did it. Anyway, right. don't get me started. She's a teeny bit salty about that. <laughs> <laughs> Our resident Gen Xer. All right, Dana, thank you.